to the event Santa Cruz radio show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. It's so funny because my my producer here, Louie, and I have been so excited for this guest. I think for two months because we just love the I don't know the excitement, the the drive that this 16 year old Scotts Valley resident has. We're gonna talk to him, Austin Chris Bell, correct? Yes, that is correct. Thank you so much for all your kind words. Oh no, no, we're super excited. So I wanna find out, major entrepreneur here at 16 years old, how this entrepreneurial bug hit you? So I think it started with really two people. Uh, the first one was Robert Kiyosaki. I read his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, like a year or two ago. And uh, after that, you know, I kind of started getting this feel for business. I started to love, you know, making money in business and stuff like that. But I thought that I could do it without working hard. And that's when uh, the second person came in and uh, his name's Gary Vaynerchuk. Started watching him on YouTube. And that's where I stopped to, started to really get my work ethic. Uh, Realize that this is actually a grind if I want to, you know, be happy with my life and do things that I want to actually accomplish. I had to put in the hard work. I like Gary. I mean, he's he works ridiculously hard. I mean, even I like some of the practical admonition he gives of even like, you know, do yard sales, go buy stuff in yards, do anything, just like hustle, just make it happen. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk about what you do because uh, I feel like I, we have a lot in common even though you did it like 10 years before me. Um, you have a vending route. Yes, I so, do. So tell me like, I want to know like the, the bolts of it. How did this like idea come about and how did you actually start the route? Right, right. So right now it's actually the smallest that it's ever been. I only have three machines just because I got some sold. Um, but it started, you know, from the internet. I started watching this guy on YouTube. Ray is the entrepreneur. He had this vending machine route. He doesn't do it anymore. Okay. But uh, basically I saw about vending machines. I saw, you know, they're a good way to make money, learn about business. Not a lot of money, no. but uh, yeah. definitely pick up some good business skills. So went on to Craigslist, picked up this vending machine. It was a two head vending machine. You could dispense two candies. I got it. I paid a little overpriced uh, for it. Okay. I got a hundred for fifty, or I got it for a hundred fifty dollars up in Felton, and uh, that was my first machine. And then I just kept growing from there. And, so you, yeah. you you bought the vending machine. Um, you get the candy from somewhere, mm -hmm. like, and then basically you you make every quarter that comes out of it, correct? Yeah. Some locations I do give ten percent to. To like a uh, national, I mean, to like a, a charity. Uh, yeah, I was I was gonna do actually I was gonna try to work with the National Cancer Society or Ch Children Cancer Society in the future, but right now I give usually ten percent just to the owner of the business. Okay, yeah, just so it's almost like a rental fee. Yeah, in a way to have that. No, but it's cool. It's like you know that is a, a good way to to learn you know a, a business skill. I mean, mm -hmm. you had to get the product, you had to get the the way of dispensing the product, the location, yes. you had to sell the location to have it, and then, you know, you make your whatever, $25 or $30. Yeah, not a lot, but. <laughs> hey, it's like, for a 16-year-old, you know, having a, a route, even, of a few of them, that's, that's definitely an accomplishment. Thank you. So that's not the only thing you do. You also do, uh, what else do you do? Uh, I have an eBay reselling business, an Amazon reselling business. Uh, I have my own brand it's like a fitness brand called makai strength okay and then uh, i also try to hustle on my youtube channel <laughs> so how's that going your youtube channel like what, what like what's the content in your youtube channel whatever i feel like posting really yeah. just i want to document my journey as an entrepreneur just show everything that i've been through the ups and downs be completely open with everyone uh just because i want to look back on this 10 years you know maybe 50 years down the road, if I have kids, they can look back on it and they just have this blueprint of everything I do and they can maybe follow it if they want to. Yeah. So do you think that you will actually make some money off of YouTube? Because I know that's ridiculously hard. Or is it more just a branding thing? Um, or both? I think I just, I mean, I'm not really in the YouTube for the money. Obviously, once I get to that point, that'd be amazing. Yeah. But I think YouTube's kind of just supplementary and it's just there to look back on in the future yeah. and if people archiving yeah if people like it then they'll follow it but i'm mostly just doing it for myself you're on tiktok too right i am yes yeah. i love tiktok i have like half a million likes on it oh my goodness uh almost six thousand followers and i have a lot of viral videos on there i think 
my highest one has like 1.8 million views. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Louis, are you on TikTok? No. No, Louis is not on TikTok. I'm not either because I'm 45, so I don't think I'm <laughs> hey, allowed. Anyone can join. No, actually, I do have a TikTok account. My uh, my daughter set it up for me, and so I, I only follow my 11-year-old daughter, and that's it because I think she's funny. But um, Okay, so you have these. You have... Um, your Amazon reselling, and yes. you sell books a lot of time, don't you? I do, that's all I sell on Amazon. Didn't you get like this huge like shipment of books recently? I saw this like on, I forgot where, Instagram, it's like this six foot by six foot huge box of yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, I got two of them. They're 48 inches by 40 inches by 36 inches. Uh, this is what they're called, uh, they're called Gaylords. I know that may sound weird, but that's just the actual term for those types of boxes okay. and it was filled uh in total 3,500 pounds of books that i went through i <laughs> sorted through and then i'm gonna go ahead and sell them on amazon for a profit that is so awesome <laughs> um so what is what's like the the end game for you i mean it's really hard as a 16 year old you really have an end game but i feel like you kind of have a little bit of an idea i have a little bit of an idea yeah um my brand makai strength i really want to work on that and i want to build that up to be you know a fitness brand that's actually prominent but you know again I'm only 16 I probably have like four five six more lifetimes left of me uh, anything can pop up and uh, I'm just I'm ready for it awesome cool so where where do people find out more information about you if I you know our listeners of course this will be on you know eventsantacruz.com so we can put the, the links below but if people want to find out about you on on, right. on the web where do they go uh, mainly Instagram YouTube or uh, What's it called? TikTok. Okay. And my what, handle, are those, what are those? Yeah, handles. Or? My handle is uh, Austin at A U T S Y N. It's Austin, but the T and the Y are switched. Okay. Or you can just search up Austin Hustles. Chances are you'll probably find me. Awesome, cool, and we'll put it on the the bottom of the the interview or the video as well. Hey, thank you so much, Austin, for being on the show. I feel like I should like have lunch with you and like learn from you. Definitely. Okay, great. Okay, well we have.